Okay, now the road accident is the most concerning problem in the entire world. The figure of accident has become increasing, and the most of people are injured or die from day to day. At this beginning, I would like to pay my credit respect to Mr. Lee Bon Chai, Deputy Director General of Balti Group, as well as Balti Management Team, Honorable Judges, Teacher, Contestant, Ladies and Gentlemen, and Distinguished Guests, a very good morning. Allow me to introduce myself. Well, my name is Nat Marilyn, a level six contestant from Belt International School, Campus 7, Luxon Hospital. Today, I'm so proud of myself to be chosen as the final round competitor. To begin, hey, ladies and gentlemen, let me ask you a question. Do you want to reduce road accident? Oh, I'm so proud to hear that. In this special occasion, I have something more special to share with all of you with a remarkable topic, which is how to reduce road accident. Before I go to play into the main point, I would like to define two key terms first. First it is reduce. According to the Oxford Dictionary, reduce refers to make smaller or less in amount. Second, road accident means a cross involving road or auto vehicle. According to Prime Minister Hun Sen, he said that road accident is the most concerning problem that happened to our country that we need to solve this problem. That's why I'm standing here today to tell the whole ceremony about how to reduce road accident. Firstly, never drinking alcohol when dry. Drinking alcohol is the nautic factor. You know, road accidents almost happen by drinking alcohol. Sometimes they get drunk, but they still try. So it is the causes that encourage problem after that. Because when we got drunk, we can lose consciousness of the mind that cannot control the vehicle while traveling. Moreover, we have to spend much money on the police punishment or use to cure our scar also. Secondly, government should straighten the traffic law. We know that traffic law is the most important part in society that everyone needs to obey. So, government must reinforce it like increase the required age of young people for driving and be awarding the driving license for them. On the other hand, government must order police to be strict more and more. Why? 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 Mm, because many young and older people usually not to wear a helmet, go to, to the red light, don't respect each other while traveling, and they make a public place have no property, so the police officer can arrest them and catch them to pay for the fine. The thirdly point is the last point on my presentation. Educate people to know about the traffic law. Currently, have a lot of people that has less understanding about the traffic law. So, in order to make them understand, we must explain and teach them. Like by making a kind of short video that related to traffic law, or we can give advice or ideas to them to study at traffic law school, so they can understand about traffic law very well. In conclusion, all this point want to tell the host remedy about how to make road accident less in amount. We all know that no one cannot buy their life, but we can prevent it by obey the traffic rule. Like one mistake from Mr. Siren Heat. He said that in a split second you could ruin your future, injure or kill others, or tear a hole in the everyone heart who love you. Now my presentation come to the end. Thank you for paying attention and listening on my presentation. Thank you very much. My high respect to Mr. Lee Bon Chai and all participants. Hello. Good morning, my handsome judges. Oh, thank you. Uh, <laughs> could you tell me, please, are your parents good drivers, and what do you say to them to make them better? Uh, if my prior, uh, my parent is a driver, I'm going to tell them like the three basic consequences of not following the traffic law. Firstly, might get into an accident on the street. That's not only our vehicle traveling, but there are a lot of car, truck, motorcycle that are doing traveling with us. At the same time, if we go through, we will get into an accident. Second, it is not legal for you to go into the red line. No, sorry, uh, to not respect the traffic law. If we don't respect the traffic law, we will be arrested by the police officer and have to waste our time so much. Thirdly, is 
we can make the traffic got stuck. Like as I mentioned about, that's not only our vehicle traveling. So if we go, we can make the traffic got stuck. Thank you. My high respect to Mr. Lee Bun Chai and all participants here. So Marilyn, how can you advise people to avoid road accident? Thank you, Josh, for your very remarkable question. Two, uh, to tell the people to avoid from an accident. First, for my opinion, I want to make a kind of short video that related to a road accident and post on social media. Because nowadays, many people in Cambodia usually to play social media. So I will post it on like Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, website, or YouTube. The second is, I want to make a poster that related to road accident, and then I stick it on a public place. Finally, when I come school or go home, I interrupt all the value of respect traffic law to my friend, to my parent, to my sibling, to know about its importance. Thank you.